Hello everyone. 12 years ago, I began my time as an Illinois National Guardsman. And five years ago, I began my time as a National Guard recruiter. At that time, I had over eight years of experience and believed I was ready to take on the mission. Who would have known what would transpire over those next few years would be unlike anything I had anticipated. Who would have known that my father would be diagnosed with dementia and Parkinson's disease, or that the coronavirus would shut down life as we know it for two years, or that I would not be able to access half of my student body due to polit political pressure. Then to top it off, <clears throat> the brilliant leadership of our military decided to implement a medical system that would disqualify a large percentage of individuals who wanted to serve this great nation. To say I have put some age on these past few five years will be an understatement, but not once did I allow myself to accept failure. Being a recruiter should not be about hitting a quota or what we call annual mission. Our job is to find individuals who need the military in their lives and who can benefit drastically from our benefits. I have recently hit the point where I have soldiers who are graduating with their bachelor's degrees and they do not owe a single dime because of the benefits that we provide. Our job is to find those who are wanting to help themselves and others. During the past few years, I have helped almost 70 individuals accomplish that dream. I have watched those same individuals go from high school troublemakers to honor graduates from their training battalion. When I had days that the pressure and stress were too much, I would think about those soldiers, those who trusted in me to help them find their way. Was any of this easy? No. From constant changes to operating procedures and a fundamental shift in how the world views military service, those hardships have been hard to endure. While the pressure did cause some to give up, I knew that that was not an option for me. I knew that one day I would find a calling. That time has now come. To focus on a new opportunity that has arisen, I will be ending my time in the Army and starting a new chapter in my life. No matter what transpires over the next few months, as I begin my new journey, I cannot deny that this experience has helped me grow immensely. When I first started conducting high school events, the entire thing and situation was horrible. I did not know how to talk to these students. I could not relate, and I was surely not helping anyone make their lives better. But the leadership I received from Sergeant First Class Venable was exactly what I needed. He began to shadow me and provide words of support and encouragement that would get me on the right path. Before I knew it, not only was I better at talking to the students, I was better at addressing their concerns. I can honestly say that not once did I sell a kid into serving. They all realized that what I offered made sense and I never had to lie. Why is that so important? Because the mentality of honest work has led me into my, my next profession. If there's anything that my soldiers learned from me, I hope that is that being a good person goes a long way. To the team that I have worked with over the past few years, I want to say thank you. It took a few years, but each of you have impacted me in some way and helped me become a better leader. You taught me how to manage family life and long work hours. You taught me that being reliable is worth more than anything in what we do. Most of you taught me not to give up. Have faith in the process and it will all pay off. I honestly could not have, helped, not have hoped for a better group of NCOs to serve with. Your soldier care was truly out of this world. It was a constant reminder every day that our job is to lead and develop these soldiers. And it was an absolute blast learning from all of you. While I will fall short of my goal of retiring from the service, I wanna leave you with a little bit of information. By 2036, according to Sheffer, there will only be 12.5 million veterans in our nation. That is a 35% decrease from where we currently sit at. 
We have made our impact when the odds seem too far out of reach. Thank you all for changing my life, and I will always be a phone call away if you need me. Thank you.